Hi kindergartners, today we're going to do a little art project. Now you can either use paper you have at home, I just grabbed a piece of paper, and if you don't, then use the piece of paper in your packet. It's on page 20 and it looks like this. On the side it says use for Thursday art project. So you can use your paper there. I'm going to use this piece of white paper so that I can show you. Today we are going to draw a winter scene and we're going to draw an igloo and a penguin. So you can grab your crayons and do it as I do it too. First I want you to start with a black crayon. We're going to draw the outlines of everything and then we can color it in. So grab your black crayon. Step number one, I want you to start on the very side of your page, on the very edge, and you're going to start pretty low like this. This is going to be our snow. We're going to do just a little squiggle like this all the way across our paper until you get to the next edge. That's going to be snow on the bottom of our page. Now we're going to draw an igloo. So take your black crayon and we're going to do a big curve like a rainbow, but we are not going to go all the way. So start on top of your squiggle, somewhere around here off to the side, and we're going to do big rainbow curve. Don't take up the whole page though. And then stop early so you have a little space left over right here. Next, I want you to make a straight line that connects to this one. Okay. Now your next step is going to be to make another rainbow curve. So I'm going to start on the bottom where my snow is on the squiggle line and I'm going to make a rainbow. Touch the top of that straight line and then go back down with your rainbow. Now it looks like the tunnel to get inside of the igloo. Now igloos are made out of large cubes of ice and snow, so we're going to draw that now. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to start on the side of your igloo and draw a line going across. Don't go into this little tunnel area though. Keep drawing some more lines until you get to the top. Now we're going to do our lines going down. I'm going to add mine with a little bit of a curve so I kind of match this rainbow on this side. Good job. Now let's add a little penguin to our scene. Let's start by drawing his head and his body. Penguins heads and bodies kind of look like they're one. So I'm going to draw a big oval. Let me show you. An oval is kind of like a long squished circle. Make sure you leave a little bit of room at the bottom because we're going to put his feet right there. Good. Now let's give him a little white belly. So draw another oval inside like this. Let's give him two wings on the side. I'm just going to do a long curve. Now I could do a long curve going down like this for his wing. Maybe I'll do another one like that on this side or maybe I'll do it going up high like my penguin is waving hello. Good. Now let's give him a beak, some feet, and eyes. You can choose orange or yellow, probably both make sense. I'm going to start with his feet. I'm going to start on the bottom of his body and just do a triangle. So think about making the shape of a letter A, but instead of going across the middle, go across the bottom. One more on this side because penguins have two feet. You can color that in right away. Now let's give him a beak, another triangle, and then go straight down. Now choose a color for his eyes. You could choose brown, green, blue, any color that makes sense for eyes. I'm going to give mine some blue eyes. 
We have a cute little penguin now. Now I'm going to color in the rest of his body. Make sure you don't do it too dark because then we won't be able to see the rest of him. So I'm just going to push lightly on my crayon, but I'm going to color in his body. I'll just leave his little tummy white. Don't color over the beak or the eyes. We want to see those. There we go. The other part you can color in black is this little rainbow shape by our igloo because that's going to make it look like I could go inside of it. Makes it look dark. There. Now you can use the rest of the time to add a few details. I like to think about ice and make my igloo look a little bit light blue. You can leave it white or make it light blue like me. I'm going to use this color and I'm just going to push really lightly and I might not even color the whole thing in all the way. If I just go lightly, sometimes it looks kind of like shiny ice to me and I kind of like that, but you get to choose anything that makes sense. I like to add a few more details. I think I'll add sun over here because we still have sunshine even in the winter, even when it's cold. Not every day, but lots of days. Maybe I'll make him happy. How about some clouds? Just adds a little more detail to my picture to add a little bit extra. We call that detail. And then last, I think I'm going to add some snow. And there's two ways you can do snow. You can either do little circles and then don't color them in because then it's white on the inside and snow is white. Or you can do one that looks like this. I'll show over here. Make an X and then draw one line going through the top like that and then another line going through the middle like that. And it looks like a fancy snowflake. Maybe you want to do a little bit of each of those. Some circle snowflakes and some fancy star snowflakes. That is starting to look like a great winter scene. There we go. Don't forget to add your name to it too. Thanks for drawing with me. See you later, kindergarten.